All right, both. Oh my gosh, my glasses are so dirty. Can't see anything. Better. Well, hello, lovely. My name is Lindsay, and today I wanted to hang out with you in my kitchen, but also just be enormous. I am 36 weeks pregnant, so that's been super fun. We're getting close. I have my due date. I have my C-section scheduled, so that's coming up really quick, but I wanted to do what I can while my two boys are taking naps. Hopefully I can get a little bit done. Um, I didn't do dishes last night because we ended up painting the hallway, the stairwell and the hallway. Not done yet. We did the first coat and then I have to go in and fix all the cracks that we found doing the first coat of the color. You know, <laughs> it just never, it's never ending. But my kitchen is crazy. There's just clean dishes all over the counter because I just, sometimes I'll just throw them on the counter because I don't have the bandwidth to put them away when I'm cleaning out the dishwasher. It's not ideal, but it is how it is in my brain. It just kind of, that's the way it is right now. I found a few things like that I've been hanging on my wall, like this and this and this I replaced with a board over there that this is like a meal planning menu that I'm just, I'm going to donate these. So I need to find a box to donate these in. I have been trying to find more and more things to donate because I just feel like I'm overwhelmed with stuff. That's a priority of mine recently as well. Just trying to get things out before the baby comes and we have even more stuff coming in. So yeah, but let's start with my list. The first thing I have on there is dishes and cleaning the counters, which I think I'll start with cleaning the counters and then I'll unload and load the dishwasher really quick. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> it has been a crazy couple months. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I am getting so overwhelmed with stuff. And I think a lot of it is just like, I'm bringing a lot of stuff in for the baby and I am a little just, you know, overwhelmed with the stuff that's just accumulating in my house. And I haven't been decluttering as much as I need to, to keep up with the influx of things coming in. So I need to do some like good declutter sessions, but as you can probably hear in this voiceover, even I am just out of breath. I am exhausted. I'm just trying to get through the day. So um, I will say at the end of this cleaning session, here I am snacking on something, I don't even know what it was, but <laughs> but after the end of this cleaning session, I was just so tired and I just wanted to take a nap. And so I did end up like sitting down with the boys and relaxing after cleaning and doing the dishes in the kitchen. And I didn't even do that much. And there's my belly hanging out. Well, not my belly, my undershirt hanging out. <laughs> like, just my dang belly is so big. Um, but yeah, there's me taking the dogs out. I feel like that's 8,000 times a day that they want to go outside. So I let them out because it's easier to let them outside um, most of the day. They're so cute and so fun. And I, we love our Luna and Roxy and Minion. I love Minion too. He does drive me nuts because he is an old man and he just, he gets in the way, he stands by your feet, you trip over him, and then, <laughs> and I can't see past my belly anyway, so I'm not seeing him, and then I trip over him, and I am almost falling on the ground. Anyway, we love Minion, but he does drive me crazy, and he's, he's, you know, getting to be like that old man that I, I just, I'm too pregnant <laughs> to deal with right now. Um, oh, I love him. Love him to death, but my goodness, I am exhausted. And just thinking about cleaning up after him makes me tired. So I am just, you know, anyway. Yep, I got the counters cleared off and I ended up um, cleaning off a little bit of the shelf that's on the wall that I hung up that I still have yet to sit and decorate and make look nice. It is something that I have on my list of things to do, but have I done it? Nope, have not done it yet and that's okay. And um, I'm just trying to live with good is good enough or better is good enough. And 
just getting my dishes done at the end of night end of the night is good enough some days and just take just being able to get enough rest is good enough for me right now because of how pregnant and tired I am I am two weeks away from my c-section and oh I have a lot to do still and I'm I'm hoping I can get it done and hopefully I don't go into labor early but let's play some music so you don't have to listen to my out of breath huffs for much longer here we go here's some good music for you that you left me sat beside in your car in the back seat wide awake is the way that you left me oh now it's clear we are here back at your house and i keep fading into the background i'm wide awake now you keep missing out for sure you be mine really lovely let's hang out and be to, be best friends okay um have you gotten anything done on your list today or are you just kind of letting it be a chill day some days are just chill days and lately I have been trying to clean out my sink once a day and it's usually at night so this was kind of a different situation I think because we had painted yeah it was it was the night before that we had done some painting and I was just like I need to go to bed <laughs> after we painted I just went to bed and I was okay with it except the next day when I had to clean all of the dishes that were in the sink oh my goodness I have some major acid reflux happening right now oh this little girl is definitely given me a run for my money these last few weeks of pregnancy. I keep saying to Devin, like, I don't know how I'm going to get through two more weeks, three more weeks, whatever it was that I was saying it to him. It's now two more weeks about, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I am ready to not be pregnant anymore. No matter how wonderful it is, it's just these last few weeks are going to be rough and I'm full term. So if I go into labor, it's not scary or anything. It just will be a little sooner than I'm expecting and we're excited, but I definitely would rather make it to my date where I have it scheduled. Obviously that would just make life easier in a lot of ways. But anyway, um, I'm about to talk in the next clip. So let's get into that right now after cleaning my sink feels good. I don't know how you can get winded from doing dishes, but apparently you can. So <laughs> I'm going to sit down um, cleaning the counters and doing the dishes. It feels really good to have that done. So it feels really nice in here. A little candle. Just have a nice feeling now. Got my crazy dogs hanging out. 
both boys woke up, so I think it's time to sit and hang out for a little bit. What do you think? Dan's playing in the tiny room. I've got some crazies trying to get my attention. Especially this one. Oh, I'm tired, Joel. Are you tired? Yeah, you're tired. Look. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out here. I need to start dinner, so that's probably the next thing I'll do. Did you find a toy to chew on, Lulu? <laughs> Is that fun? I took it for Sal. Who's that? Good girl. Roxy has a chew toy, too. Hi, Joel. Hi, BB. Look, look. <laughs> um, these are some banana bites that I had made. So I had some bananas that were just going to go bad. So I decided to make little banana bites the night before and I let them sit in the freezer for like a day. And then I put them into this little container while my boys came to steal some as I was putting them in the container. And yeah, so I just slice up the bananas and then I put peanut butter on top and so I do like a natural peanut butter from Costco but whatever peanut butter you like and then I let that freeze for a minute or two or like until it kind of gets like a flash freeze and then I throw some melted chocolate and I do the sugar-free melted chocolate no sugar added and I melt the chocolate chips and I throw it on top and then I actually added some chopped up hazelnuts to put on top of it and it was really yummy and those get eaten really quickly in my house. But here I am mixing up some focaccia and I started a ham soup. So I just threw the ham in there with some water to um, get the water to be like a ham flavored, you know, and then I'm gonna cut up the ham and um, make a ham and potato soup. And that was just what we had for dinner. And then here I'm making a sourdough focaccia. So I'm just mixing that up and letting that rise for a little bit and I have my little buddy hanging out with me. He does not ever want to leave me alone, which is good and bad. <laughs> but I just kind of use the same bowl, spray it down with some spray and just throw that in there to rise so that I can not have to waste another bowl or anything or clean it in between. So I just spray it with everything in there. It doesn't matter. Enough pulls off from the side when you're mixing the dough that it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, I just wanted to try this focaccia. I'd tried it before, but this time I wanted to try it so it's not so thick because I did it in a nine by 13 pan last time. So this time I wanted to try it in a full size like cookie sheet. And I feel like that was better because the, the bread wasn't so thick. And then I also, I just did it. I wanted it to be like a dupe for the, um, the cr not the crazy bread but like from little caesars they have the italian cheesy bread oh my gosh it's like crack and i have been dreaming about it since i got pregnant i don't think i've had it since being pregnant i don't i mean it's possible because i give i have given in to way too many of my <laughs> cravings but um it is really good and i'm just cutting up all the veggies here and yeah, um, but yeah, I wanted to try and make it into that like cheesy bread, but I think I need to add like more garlic powder versus actual garlic. I think I added too much of the actual like minced garlic that you can, that you can get in the can from Costco. So that was just kind of my downfall there. And I didn't add enough cheese probably because there's never enough cheese, even though I did add a ton of cheese and oh, I did cut up all the ham. Um, Oh, here I am cutting up the ham, I guess. I, I guess I didn't do that yet. But I, I was um, making the soup, so I added all the veggies in there and let them uh, cook with the, the water that was in there as well so that they could get all cooked. Cooked. Oh, and someone told me about this awesome, this awesome trick where you do water and just a little bit of baking soda and you drink that all gone. Oh, and I'm ch checking off my 
my board. I didn't show puttying the walls, but I did do that in that day as well. And there's my cute little note to Devin and then his little cute little note to me. <laughs> and there's the focaccia all risen and ready to go. Um, anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I just, you know, threw it, threw it in the Instant Pot. I think that's what I was saying. I don't remember, guys. If, if I forgot, just let me know that I forgot some things. Okay, I, I had to go look back because I was really curious as to what I was saying. I, someone in a comment on my video recently when I was talking about my acid reflux and how bad it gets, um, gave me the tip of doing like four ounces to eight ounces of water and adding a, about a, eighth of a table, uh, not a tablespoon, whoa, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda into the water, mixing that up and then drinking that. And that should help with the acid reflux. I do a little bit less water and I just chug it real quickly <laughs> um, because I don't like the taste of the baking soda. So I just do it really quick and then I chug some water after that. So it like dilutes it in my stomach a little bit more but it really does work, so I would recommend. Uh, this is the focaccia. I did add a ton of the cheese on top. I did some Italian herbs, and then here it's all done, and I did like the garlic, and it was really yummy. I just, I think I would definitely wanna do more garlic powder, and then a, like a little less of the minced garlic, and maybe some more salt too. I don't think that I added enough salt to the top. And then here's the soup that I made. It was pretty good. I don't know. I just was trying to use up this ham and I'm not a big ham person. So I felt like ham soup was a better idea, but there we go. I made the focaccia and the soup. Alrighty. So I'm just going to turn over the laundry really quick while I'm um, waiting for bedtime. Devin's upstairs with the kids. So that gives me a minute to do some laundries and then once the kids are in bed I'm gonna fold the laundry because that needs to be done too but and I did not fold the laundry until the next day so you'll see that after these clips but yeah that's about how it goes sometimes the focaccia was really good I think next time I might even cook it a little bit less or cook it and then add the cheese because I feel like it's it just the cheese crisped up a little too much and maybe add more cheese because I don't even know if there was enough. <laughs> it was really good though. I will make it again. And I, I like that recipe to use for pizza crust too. Like I like that idea. I haven't done it yet, but I do plan to. Um, anyway, I have quite a bit of laundry to fold upstairs. So that'll be nice once it's all folded and put away. I just feel like there's so much laundry to keep, keep doing. It never ends. Washed my sheets. So that's nice. Nice and clean for when I need to switch them again. We have our second pair of sheets on right now. I think I'm going to do some whites. I've got some blankets and stuff I also need to wash, but whites might be a little more important than the blankets probably so I've been using these um, laundry detergent sheets and I got them on Amazon I was doing baking soda and vinegar but I just I felt like I was spending a lot of money <laughs> on baking soda it just like it felt like I was spending a lot of money on just baking soda and I don't use as much vinegar now. I don't know. I I don't think I loved it. And I wanted something that smells a little bit better. I don't know if I love these ones necessarily. I want more scent. I might go back to pods too because I do enjoy the pods. So we'll see. I kind of miss having my laundry smell good. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't like have like a nice laundry scent. So I think I might be going back to something with a scent just because I enjoy it. Um, but I haven't decided yet. So the, the laundry detergent sheets are fairly inexpensive. I think it was like $7 for 80 sheets. And the 
um, the sheets break in half. So if you do want to try these ones, they're the fresh linen scent, so they do smell good. They just don't make your laundry smell super strong. So if you don't like a lot of smell, those are really good. I think I'm just in a place where I want a lot of smell. <laughs> um, and I, I'm not always in that place. So I think I will buy those again. I just, right now I'm like, I kind of want something more scented. Anyway, I'm going to throw a little vinegar in there just for sanitizing and to mitigate any stink that sometimes crops up when you have laundry. So I wanted to put the ham soup in that bag, but you know, it was bad. And also my feet were so swollen. So I went and sat down for a little bit with Devin. You can see like so much water retaining. Um, and then there's the leftover ham and potato soup that I froze for another day for dinner. And then here I am doing some laundry. I will say this video started out like, what can I get done during nap time? And it wasn't a lot. I wasn't able to get a lot done, but I was able to finish my list. And you'll see at the end of this video that I do check it off. But let's listen to this song. And yeah. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies. But you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now. But you gotta Yes, you can. You can make it. We can make it together. It feels so good to get little things done off of our list. Our lists can seem so long and daunting, but if we just try, even if it takes a day or two to get it done, sometimes that's what it, it takes. But let's get things done together, and hopefully you got some motivation from this. What are you guys doing? Roxy, Luna, and Minion. All hanging out in the backyard, huh? <laughs> hey, sweet doggies. Oh, that's such a big yawn. Hi, Minion. <laughs> 